Hey everyone, it's David at Finish Line Factory and I've got an update for you guys on the Miata. So, engine is ready, everything's ready to go. Uh, it's ready to drop in, so all I've got to do now is we need to complete the turbo oil drain line. So that's just going to go from here down to the oil pan and then drop the motor in. We're set, so let's get to it. Okay, so this turbo that's on this car uses a dash 8 oil drain. Why? I don't know. Usually I'm used to seeing dash 10 oil drains. I've never seen a dash 8 oil drain, but this is what came with the kit, so I'm just going to rebuild that. So I have two dash 8 straights. I have a piece of hose that is already cut to the length that I need. It's going to go right here to right about there, more or less. And I have some heat protection hose, so this will help uh, keep the heat and fires and anything that could potentially damage the hose uh, to a minimum. So uh, let's go ahead and start getting these hose ends on. I've got my uh, station here, so let me move the camera and I'm going to show you guys uh, assembling the hose ends. Alright, one end already assembled, so you can get that to focus. Doesn't like close up things. Okay. Oh, 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 there we go. Alright, so one end is assembled. This is one of our fittings. It's a Finish Line Factory fitting. Good quality stuff. If you need it, you can get it on finishlinefactory.com. That's what we're doing. That's what we're all about. Fittings, hoses, uh, all kinds of good stuff. So, now that one side is done, uh, I want to see if I can... I wonder if I'll be able to fit the heat protection sleeve. Oh, it is a little stretchy. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to leave a little bit of room there for the other side of the fitting. Now this side. Okay. Not bad. It comes up a little bit short there, but that's not enough to matter because this side's going to be on the turbo. So this guy goes to the turbo, then this guy goes to the oil pan, and we're good. We're good to go. We've got nice, clean insulation. So let's put this on. Okay, so I totally just forgot to hit the record button, but got the uh, turbo oil drain hose connected here. Comes down here, makes a little 90 degree bend. Bam, right there, into the oil sump. Well, into the oil pan. Oil sump is right there. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So I'm just waiting on my buddy Alvaro. He's going to be coming pretty soon to help me uh, drop the engine in. But man, look at this thing, beautiful. So we've got the Super Miata coolant reroute, you got the fluid damper, uh, fully built engine. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We're still rocking the Chinese turbo for now. Uh, it's a good turbo, it's actually pretty reliable, but its performance is a little lacking, so we're gonna upgrade that to a nice uh, quality turbo in the near future. But so far, so good. Let me just slip that a little bit more, and bam, there you go.
And we did it. Motor's in. So right now the uh, it's not being officially held in by the motor mounts, but the motor mount studs are sitting in the holes in the subframe. Big thanks to my friend Alvaro. Thanks, buddy. There you go. This hey, is man. this is awesome. Wow. So now we have to begin the uh, laborious process of hooking everything back up, filling with fluids. Um, I think we're going to start with. What should we start? We should start. I, I, I'm kind of hungry. We should probably eat first. Yeah, I should get like a little, a little snack or something. Yeah. Let's right something like get some food, get some, some drinks. Water, yeah. Uh, what do we do? So we should probably secure the motor mounts first. So when we get back, oh, it's, it's fine like this. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, we're just going to make sure that the back of the transmission is supported by the jack. Which is, which is good. Okay, so we're good. And then let's go. Let's go get some food. Let's go get some food. All right, so from the factory, the Miata comes with a stupid fuel hose that uh, over time, it's actually plastic. Uh, it has a, this rubber hose that goes around. It's a rubber sleeve, I guess, for heat protection. Um, over time, the plastic be connectors become extremely brittle and the plastic hose becomes extremely brittle and eventually it cracks. And we actually had to destroy the, one of the connectors in order to get them out. So we're gonna replace this with some finish line factory hoses and fittings and not have to deal with any of this BS. And uh, our fittings are aluminum and have a plastic insert, so they're much easier to get on and off. You know, just why deal with all that BS? So now I've got a new finish line factory hose with nylon braided line. And uh, we got our connection there, all aluminum. Good, can I get a focus please? Focus. focus. Okay, whatever. Well, finish line factory hose and fittings, aluminum construction. Don't have to worry about any of that uh, crappy plastic stuff. 